So any of you guys know what this is, if you use it and weld it, you know it's going to warp. As soon as you weld it to the pipe, it might not warp a lot, but it's going to warp. Tricks, you get a clamp, you put two of them together, you clamp it, you weld it, you try and offset your weld, you weld a little bit here, weld a little bit there, let it cool. It's a pain. Even when you're doing all the little procedures to try to stop it warping, you take the clamp off, this thing feels like it's working, it comes apart with a click, you put it back, and it has a warp to it. You've warped the flange. Big slab of aluminum, inch and a half thick piece right here. Put your flange on here, you put tabs on it, you put vice grips, everything you can do to draw the heat out. The flange that goes to your turbo, you can take the turbo housing, attach that to your turbo housing, and it works. It works actually pretty good, but you've got a big turbo hanging off the pipe. Now, Tycon sell this guy right here. This is a copper chill block. What does this do? Well, to be quite honest, it's a massive block of copper. It's heavy. This thing probably weighs three or four pounds. Copper is a really, really good material for absorbing heat. This dissipates heat very well, and of course, being a huge block, you see it's got the fins on here too. It helps draw the heat away. And then of course, rather than strapping this on each time and using a wrench, they give you this nice little clamp right here. Put this guy on right here. It's even got the hand wing nut right here. Get this snug. Now when you weld this, this copper is drawing that heat away. They've gone one step further. Check this out. They have a fitting in the front and a fitting in the side right here so you can do the back purging. So this is the turbo kit that we're building for George's car right here. This is the last thing that needs to be welded, the V-bend on the turbo, and then the V-bend on the end of the downpipe. Well, what we have done in the past, and it's a trick that I think everybody does, once you've built and mocked up your downpipe, you take the turbo housing off and use this as your heatsink. Of course, it's obviously the same kind of thing as this, but this is more of a pain because you got to take it apart, you got to support the turbo, now you're working with this, then you got to let it cool down and put it back together. This makes much more sense. You bolt this to it, you weld it, you let it cool down. Another thing to note right here, see how much more clearance we've got on this V-Bend. Typically, the clamp right here, you can see how much wider it is. It actually takes up some of the room where you want to get your torch in here. You don't want the torch on a steep angle. You want to try and be up here. So now we have a bit more room for our welding cup to fit in there and get a nice weld. This is the three inch copper chill block. It does fit the Garrett flange. This is the Garrett uh, GT series flange for the GT30 and 35. <laughs> They've done their homework, haven't they? Yeah. That fits tight, it even fits nice and tight, it's nice and sealed. We have our purge holes accessible right here. One way you can check to make sure that when you have welded your V-band that it hasn't warped, is put it on a piece of glass. Always check it this way. It's a real good indication that your material is in perfect flat form. So we did notice welding this, it actually welds easier. It keeps the material cooler. If you know by welding stainless, once you get heat into it, it doesn't like to weld as well. It'll turn the uh, weld gray. If you can keep it cool, keep your weld cool, it definitely helps. This is much better. I mean. This is, this is a minute after welding it. Look at that. So, again, flat piece of glass. You're not going to do it on a windshield or a side glass. Make sure it's a flat slab. Push this down. You want to make sure it doesn't have any kind of creep in it, kind of rock. And that's perfect right there. No movement on there at all. So now, next thing is, one more flange to do. This is the easy one. This is the one that accepts this. It has the step I talked about. When you have a, even a small amount of warping on here, you put this on here and you can rattle this and it's going to have gas escaping out of there. So guys, you got to get one of these. This has made our life so much easier. It's going to make work faster too. Less chance of the flange warping. We can weld it faster and of course it makes for a much better weld. This guy is going to save us a lot of time. Check him out. Tycon Industries, Stainless Bros. Pick yourself up a chill block.